what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today we will discuss should we do horoscope matching should we match horoscopes as we do in india traditionally from hundreds and thousands of years or should we not match okay or should we just get married to somebody i'm not talking of those people who love somebody here okay i am saying those people who are asking me the questions that okay now my family has searched a girl for me and my parents are telling me that we should go for this horoscope matching we should go for this kundli milan and then there are some people in youtube who are telling that no 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 we should not do this no it is wrong you are trying to be smart and you are trying to mingle with your karma because ultimately you are destined to marry a person and you will only marry that person all right and if you are destined to have a good marriage you will have a good marriage and if you are destined to have a bad marriage you will have a bad marriage okay or if you are destined to have good a good part of marriage sometimes and a bad part of marriage sometimes then that will happen either ways all right so there are some astrologers and especially some of my subscribers have been asking me very seriously regarding this so uh, I was forced to make this video finally today, okay? So, there you go. If you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you are interested in having a consultation with me or a horoscope matching, <laughs> then please approach me through my website. And then if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with those people who are confused and who want to know that should they match horoscopes or should they indulge in this business of remedies okay indulge <laughs> and before i begin as i say always god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there he will help you to identify who is the right person for you to get married all right so now should you match horoscopes or not the first thing here is it is up to the individual all right if he or she wants to match the horoscope or the person doesn't want to match all right so if somebody feels that i don't want to match then it's fine there's no problem there is absolutely no problem with that okay so if somebody does not want to match a horoscope for a boy or a girl not the partner who they are choosing to be then it's perfectly fine it is their free will to not do this all right we should not go and tell them that oh why are you doing like this no this is not good this is not right you are against the vedas you are against the teaching of the scriptures and jyotish and the rishis no no it's not like that if somebody doesn't want to do that is their free will they can choose not to do it okay that's the first thing now the second part is if somebody is doing that then we should not go and give them these suggestions that oh you are trying to mess up with your karma you are trying to do this you are trying to do that that's sheer stupid blatant nonsense if you do that because what's the ultimate purpose of astrology now there are some channels in youtube i know especially channels related to western astrology i'm not talking of western astrologers here. even many indian astrologers i have seen their channels they will say that oh you should uh, depend on god no, you should let the universe do things well my dear sir if somebody is telling like that that you should not mingle with karma then let me remind you you are in the wrong place because astrology is the business of karma should i repeat astrology is the business of karma so if you say that you are trying to mingle with karma when you are dealing with horoscope matching you do not know what is astrology all right you simply do not know what astrology is you also do not know what is the purpose of astrology the purpose of astrology is not to know yourself it is to know yourself and to rectify your karmas by doing remedy should i repeat no it's enough <laughs> so there are many people who say why you should learn astrology to know yourself but that's foolish because what is the use of knowing yourself if you cannot rectify your problems right suppose tomorrow i go to a doctor and i ask my dear sir what are my problems can you please tell me and then the doctor says okay your liver is spoiled your heart is spoiled your uh, kidney is spoiled okay thank god bye bye see you <laughs> that's such a stupid doctor right so if we are going to such astrologers who only tell us about the problems 
yes oh your this is spoiled your that is spoiled your career is ruined your marriage is ruined all right there are so many astrologers who do like that or on the other extreme there are those astrologers hmm? i will not take names who will only say good things will only say say sweet things yes because they are fearful of not uh, falling into negative karma because they think that oh if we give a negative prediction then okay i will suffer well that is true you should not only give negative predictions yes you should always tell the positivity and the negativity in a way that the client can understand how to work on it and suggest remedies and go ahead see that's the problem when you don't know how, what remedies to suggest then you cannot speak of negativity right because then you are fearful oh my god what will happen the universe will punish me because now i am speaking negatively to this person i do not do that if i see that there are some negative issues i tell the person the negativity and i also tell them how to overcome it yes so whoever has taken consultation from me or uh, from those astrologers who i know who follow this tradition yes tradition means this way of giving remedies they have been massively benefited yes people come and tell me that oh i took consultation from that astrologer and then they suggested me remedies and i did this my god things changed all right so to say that by doing horoscope matching we are trying to mingle with karma uh, well then what what are you doing uh, in the world of astrology sir because then uh, you are in a wrong place because astrology is all about karma yes because you are opening the doors of the uh, functioning of the universe all right so now who does not need to do matching that's the question to be asked okay if you are at the level of the mahajans which the shiva bhagavatam says yes like the great prahlad if you are at the level of bhishma pitama or from the mahabharat if you are at the level of yudhishthir maharaj or if you are at the level of arjuna or if you are at the level of kunti or you are at the level of draupadi then you don't need to do matching because or if you are a great sage you are a mahatma samahatma sudurlava as lord krishna says in the gita that samahatma sudurlava means such a rare soul is difficult to find <laughs> because he is rare right <laughs> if you are so advanced spiritually that whatever happens in your life it doesn't affect you for example suppose you are married to a person from 20 years and then suddenly that person tells you one day that oh uh, let's uh, separate let's divorce and you are like Oh, you don't want to stay with me? Okay, let's get divorced. I am there with God. If you are like Mira Bai, who is singing about Krishna, 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 Krishna all the time, and she is least interested in the materialistic affairs of this world. Yes, if you are at the level of Kunti Maharani, that after the entire Kurukshetra war is finished, yes, after everybody has been slaughtered except your own uh, sons, yes, five of your sons remained, and then. when lord krishna is leaving to dwarka from kurukshetra from hastinapur then you say in the shrimad bhagavatam that oh my dear lord krishna please do not leave me <laughs> better than you leaving us is you stay with us and we are undergoing calamities in our life then we are living happily in this material world and you going back yes so i would prefer having calamities in my life and staying close to you rather than staying far from you and having great things in my life materially so if you are so advanced spiritually if you are so much enlightened and nothing negative affects you of this world then you don't have to worry about anything then why at all matching you don't need to see your horoscope also because you are you are like a rishi that time yes you are like atri you are like bharadwaj you are like Oh my god I don't know you are like Markandeya maybe <laughs> if you go to Markandeya rishi is a timeless sage and you say sir 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 uh, where is your jupiter placed where is your saturn placed he will start laughing at you yes because they are such great personalities that whatever happens they have the ability to digest poison if you are like lord shiva who can take the kal kut wish and still stay unaffected well then why horoscope matching you don't have to go to astrologers you don't have to know anything about astrology yes but the question to be asked is are we at that level 
yes no maybe right <laughs> at least i am not at that level i don't know if any of you are if some of you are then you can mail me yes sir sir, sir i am at that level but then the question is what are you doing in astrology then yes so let's be honest with us let's not lie to ourselves yes because what is happening is if you are uh, getting four or five horoscopes yes and you want to choose that with whom i can stay a good uh, in a in a good relationship yes that is very good if you can do because see again i said if you don't want to do that fine you are not a criminal you are not a culprit if you don't do but if you know somebody who is going to do and then you go and give them such useless suggestions unwarranted suggestions that oh you should not do now you are trying to mingle karma yes that's sheer nonsense we should never do like that yes because what happens if we have a good marriage yes then our family will be happy not only us that matching is not for us only see when we are getting married especially in countries like india i am not talking of the west here even in the west even in germany i have seen what to speak of countries like india it, till now also even in most of the parts of europe there is this family culture is very prominent so if you get divorced with your spouse or there are some serious issues with your spouse then your life will be spoiled your husband or your wife then your parents yes your children and relatives these five areas you are affecting yes so it is not a question of your life it is a question of the life of your children of your parents of your relatives yes the other person's life also so it is very good if you can do that again i am saying if you don't want to do that's fine you are not a criminal if you don't want to do that okay if you uh, or if you are at that level as i said of great mahatmas na, spiritual personalities then also it is fine because then your life is good or your life is bad you take it as a blessing of god yes but most of us are not at that level yes so to say somebody that oh you are destined to marry a person yes well if i reverse the argument what if i say if you are destined to marry somebody yes and suffer or enjoy then with the horoscope matching also that will happen right and if that is true then we should not even go to doctors right <laughs> we should not go to doctors it's so foolish to go to doctors then let's just stay okay so suppose now one mosquito is coming and uh, biting me here okay so then what i do here should i kill the mosquito or should i uh, throw him away or should i just let him suck my blood yes 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 if he suck in my blood he is uh, giving me freedom from the negative karma right so what to do <laughs> then why at all should we work also right we should not work also we should just sit in our home and do nothing just because see now if you are saying if you are destined to marry that person you will marry without horoscope matching also right so then if i am destined to eat something somebody will knock my door ting tong here is food for you i have brought pizza for you right yes then we need not go to office also why at all do we need to see girls or boys there will be a person who will come from the space and they will fall and they will come and say i love you sir i want to get married with you please stay with me i can't stay without you yes that will happen right does does that happen anywhere do you see at least i don't see that all right so if we go to doctor when we have a problem if we go to a relationship counselor when we are having problems in relationships why at all we go let's just depend na, on god <laughs> if we if uh, we are destined to suffer then let's suffer or if you are destined to separate then let's separate let's not do anything let's not breathe let's not do anything let's just depend on karma okay whatever god wants god will do let's not be so foolish like that yes so if i reverse the argument yes if you are destined to marry a person then that is a part of your destiny but we should not mix destiny with duty when you are ill going to the doctor is a part of your duty why because protecting your body is your dharma dharma has many meanings one of the loose connotations of dharma is duty all right so when you are ill if you are having a stomach trouble or a chest trouble or bleeding in your nose then it is your dharma to protect your body yes and for that scriptures suggest us to go to a doctor and do the necessary remedies yes so similarly astrology is nothing but like 
the science of medical industry yes that uh, but the only difference is it acts on a very higher subtle level than medical science yes it acts on the level of the uh, of of the subtle body also the mantras where else medical science will only work for the body so if you are destined to marry somebody even if you have 100 horoscopes and you match then you will you will end up marrying that person only yes that is the part of destiny but it is our responsibility that we choose a good person for the ashram because as i said it is not about you your parents the other person's parents and your children and other relatives they are also involved have you seen recently i did a consultation for a lady and i talked with the lady for uh, roughly 45 minutes and then her mother took the phone and she asked me she was crying so bad i felt so bad i've never seen any lady crying so hard this lady was crying and crying and crying and crying she was telling that i don't know what's happening to the life of my daughter please tell me remedies i will do anything to solve this problem which she is facing in relationships yes so especially when we are staying in countries countries like india where the family culture is very much prevalent yes it's still relevant today so we have to realize that if we are having a difficulty in our ashram in our marriage then it is not going to affect us the lives of our parents will be devastated completely yes most of the indian families yes because india is still to a large extent family based and quite traditional yes so it is our duty yes forget about karma karma and duty is separate karma is what happens to you yes duty is what you do should i repeat karma is what happens to you and duty is how you react to it if you are destined to have a good or bad marriage that will anyways happen you forget about that that is not your concern scriptures are not based on karma they are based on duty yes now take the example of uh, ramayan okay so uh suppose lord ram huh, ravan came and kidnapped his wife sita devi and then what if lord ram said anyways now it's if i'm destined to get sita back she will come back right and that's true ultimately sita devi came back came back means he w- went to lanka and he fought the war and she was back so now lord ram could have said na oh anyways na if i'm destined to get back sita she'll come back somehow somewhere something will fall as they say these days na law of attraction will work just think that sita devi is back right then sita will come back one day right yes that happens right no it doesn't happen that's stupid to say like this so whatever happens by karma that will anyways happen but karma is not a substitute for duty yes should i repeat karma is not a substitute for duty as a husband it is your duty to protect the wife you cannot play a garb of uh, karma and say that okay it's karma na anything will happen see we have the epic example of dhritarashtra from the mahabharat whenever bhishma vidura drona or krishna these four personalities whenever they would give some suggestion or advice to dhritarashtra he would give only one reason only one justification he would say what can i do i am a blind person this is happening by karma <laughs> see what a foolish personality this was it is happening by karma that's okay <laughs> but your duty as a king is to ensure that your citizens are living in harmony that there is no problem in the kingdom that is your duty yes if everything is by karma then why scriptures have made the position of the king everybody will do whatever they like now everything will happen by karma why to get married why why to have children now everything will happen on its own accord it's like a machine which is running automatically now you just press the switch it doesn't happen like that okay so if somebody is telling that oh my god you should not do matching now by that you are forcing the universe do you think you are very smart well if you think that uh, those people who are doing matching yes they are trying to act smart by trying to fixing the person well then you are also trying to be smart yes by not doing that matching yes because you will also ultimately end up with that person only and that person will also ultimately end up with that yes so destiny is separate from karma uh, from duty so do not mingle karma and duty yes karma and dharma are two different houses dharma is the ninth house karma is the 10th house so 
we have to understand what destiny is that which happens to us by our own accord and dharma is what we should do so we have to be focused on our dharma rather than karma yes karma also means actions but when i say karma here i mean our destiny which plays inevitably that is what i mean by karma here yes people say karma 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 has many meanings karma also means action so whatever happens to us whatever is in our destiny let us not use that as a means to hide our own irresponsible nature yes again as i said if you don't want to do that's fine if you want to depend on god okay god will send me the person that's perfectly fine but when i hear people blasting those people who are doing horoscope matching yes that's very wrong <laughs> that should not be done actually because they are not doing fixology they are trying to uh, see what's best for them and we do that in every place yes when you get a job offer from three companies don't you see where should you go yes you do that right so then why not in the areas of relationships that can be done and that's very good so to say them that oh you are trying to do fixology na then then that will apply everywhere yes then you should not look at which lagna you are which sun sign you are which moon sign you are you should not know anything either you know all those things or you don't know anything how can you be somewhere in between and say okay this is part of karma that is fixology that's hypocrisy if you do that okay and again if it's your personal choice you don't need to do it that's perfectly fine but my request is please do not blast those people okay who are doing matching of the horoscopes because that is their free will and scriptures also recommend us to do matching before getting married because i said it is not only about you there are multiple lives associated with you which will be destroyed if there are some problems in your marriage especially the lives of your children yes how much ever you say that oh man can also act like the mother the mother can also act like the father it doesn't work simply yes even if it works it will never be like a mother father being two individual entities that can never happen how much ever you say that okay the mother can act both like the mother and the father and the father can also act like the mother and the father but mother is mother father is father okay their individual importance is there so if there are some problems in your marriage then your lives of your children will be shattered completely yes and i have personally known and i have talked with people whose parents have been divorced and i know what's their situation yes just think about yourself how it would happen if your parents would have separated it would be very devastating for you right same is for me <laughs> so let us try to protect ourselves and everybody else because again if you are destined to marry somebody before or after horoscope matching you will again this you will again ultimately end up marrying that person but as a part of our duty it is essential that we make the right choice okay so that is what i wanted to say here so for many days uh, this was pending that uh, oh you are trying to do fixology you know uh, some people they will say to some astrologers that oh you should not do this no that is wrong no this is a authorized process of the scriptures again there can be mistakes in this there can be blunders in this now i know what some of you will write in the comments that oh that friend of mine he did astrological matching but his marriage got divorced <laughs> i know there are many cases there can be faults by astrologers there can be errors there can be wrong things which can go on yes and that is also a part of the karma yes so we need to understand that just because there are some wrong cases some negative cases some errors somewhere it doesn't mean that everywhere there are errors okay so it is very good if we can do matching if we want to do okay again i am not forcing anybody again and again i am giving the reminder but to say somebody that you are doing this and you are stupid you are trying to do fixology that is sheer nonsense okay and to say that they are trying to act smart well then you are also trying to act smart yes because you are trying to see okay now my saturn is here it is aspecting venus okay so there may be my, there will be delay in my marriage why are you thinking of that just go and marry somebody right why do they say that if saturn is aspecting venus you should not marry before 28 or 32 go and get married at 25 see what happens yes that that means you are anyways trying to do fixology there yes you are trying to 
manipulate, delay your karma. Yes, you are anyways playing with karma. So if you are afraid of karma and if you think that uh, playing with karma is dangerous, then the last thing I would say is you are at the wrong place. All right. So that is it from my side. This was quite of a heavy, strong video which I made because I was disgusted with some people who were criticizing those people who were doing matching and I saw this in some other channels also and some other astrologers also. I will not take names here because then somebody will say me that, oh, you are from this group, you are from that group, you like this person, you like that person. No, I am not speaking on behalf of anybody here. I am just speaking on behalf of myself. This is what I think. And if you think that you should not do matching, that is also fine. And if you think you should do, then that is also fine. Okay. And some of you will type now, Oh, you are trying to create fear mongering that, oh, you must do matching. No, I am not doing any fear mongering. Those who are intelligent enough would have understood what I wanted to say. And as usual, there will be so many people who will not understand what I say. And they will write things which are way, way, way beyond what I mean to say. Okay. And I can't help it. Just I say to them, get well soon. Okay. That is it from my side. If you want a consultation, then approach me through my website. And if you're new, then please subscribe. And if you want me to make any other video on such topics, then also please let me know. Okay. And before ending, as I say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you to do right astrological horoscope or Kundli Milan. All right. That is it from my side. Wish you good luck. Bye-bye. Thank you.